life just full of surprises, isn't it? Your whole life you hate old people, and then you are one. Great. Just feel so lucky looking like Mike Pence's older brother. Really happy about that, Burbank. That's right, older brother. Yeah, I know. I'm often told how lucky I am, and I think, uh, and maybe I am, I don't know. God, you ever run into somebody and you ask them how they're doing, they're like, oh, just trying to be grateful. So not good then. <laughs> not good. Grateful, that's the new bottom. You'll ask gay couples, what are you, a topper or grateful? I just want to meet somebody who goes, oh my God, I'm doing so well, I'm so successful, and I am so ungrateful. This shit better keep getting better and better, and maybe someday I'll be grateful. So I'm always told how lucky I am, and I guess I am, but uh, you'll hear people say, you know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than to be good, and I always think, sometimes, how about all the times? It's always better to be lucky than to be good. Like, somebody gets hit by lightning, and lives, you don't hear people saying, wow, that guy's good. <laughs> then on the flip side, you go to somebody's funeral, everyone's walking around, oh, he's a good man, he's good, he's a good man. Yeah, maybe if he had been a little luckier. <laughs> Guy got run over by a llama. No luck there at all. So now that I, I don't think, uh, I don't consider myself old. It's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? I don't, uh, I don't consider myself old. Old, no, old people, God damn, God, they're annoying, aren't they? Maybe I am too, I don't know. Because <laughs> they'll tell you, hey, age, it's nothing but a number. True, that's true, and a smell, it's a bit of a smell. <laughs> and your ears hang lower due to gravity and you're a little hunched over, yeah, so it's, Nothing but a hunched over, musty, long-eared number. That's all it is. But I, I, I'm not, I don't think, I don't consider myself old because I'm not afraid of escalators yet. Oh, man. You ever get behind one of them at the mall and you're like, come on! Jump on! It's not a dragon! Take a shot! What's gonna happen if you fall? You'll just end up up there, it's fine. Oh. There's a Brookstone, we'll find something to help you out. Oh man, it's all perspective. That's why I work out at the YMCA, where I'm viewed as the young buck. By the way, the YMCA, kind of a lie, isn't it? You ever work out at the YMCA? It's not all young male Christians, by the way. It's, there's women there. And heathens, I think. I like working out at the Y. I like being looked at suspiciously because of my youth. Hey, did that kid just take two towels? Goddamn right I did. I'm a bit of a rascal. <laughs> but I work out at the Y, and I'm not fat, but I'm not fit either. You know, but that's enough for some people, you know. People ask me for workout tips. They're lost, obviously. <laughs> but I'll tell them. I'll say, you know, low weight and a lot of reps, and they're just, uh, tell me something I haven't heard before. And I'll say, no, a super low weight and a super lot of reps. Like me, I like to curl a pencil 10,000 times. <laughs> I like pretty crazy screaming for a spot on those last three. 9,998, somebody for the love of God! Is there a young male Christian who can help me out here? So yeah, I'm trying not to be old, but fuck, man. You just get so angry, don't you? <laughs> I keep all my anger in the car, though, so nobody can hear it because I'm a coward, so that's good. <laughs> my news, you ever get so mad when you're driving? I mean, you're such an idiot that you start yelling at people who are driving properly. 
Hey, you don't have to stop so completely. Come on! <laughs> don't yield to everybody, you pussy. Come on! <laughs> Speed up. There's not that many school kids present. <laughs> I saved the rough one for last. <laughs> so I just yell at people when I'm in the car, the windows are up, they really can't hear me, but it's good for me, it makes me feel good. My new thing is to yell at people and use a, uh, a sexual organ and then another part of the body. That's always fun. Hey, green light, dick ears! <laughs> Hey, watch it, watch it there, veg elbows. <laughs> you, know your, uh, you know your kids are growing up, because my wife and I, we got three beautiful kids. Uh, we have four kids altogether, but three of them are beautiful. That's the thing. <laughs> Golly. When that fourth one sneaks up on you, ha! Oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Don't do that to daddy, all right? I Thought an orangutan broke into the house. <laughs> Where's your whistle? <laughs> Gotta fire that warning shot before you come marching in here with your lazy eye. <laughs> I know, lazy my ass. That thing has ambition. It's always, I gotta get out of here. I'm trying to see everything. I talk about them like they're young, but they're not now. You know, they're all grown up. You know your kids are grown up when you start giving them real-life driving instructions. You know, when you first start teaching them how to drive, everything's by the book. Hey, full stop, mister. Hey, when you turn right, you look right, you look left, you look right, and then you look left again. <laughs> then when they get a little older, you start giving them the real-life driving instructions. It's more like, f*** this guy, f*** this guy, go around him, f*** this guy, go around him, go around him, roll down your window, say, what the f*** are you doing? Do it! Your father knows I'm a great driver. I was there for the birth of all my kids, and we don't need to be there. I don't know, how did that happen? Used to be we'd be in a waiting room, you know, drinking scotch and smoking cigars, super cool. And then somebody fucked it up, you know. Oh, I wouldn't mind being in the delivery room. Oh, fuck, don't say that, don't, don't do that. Now we all gotta be in the delivery room. <laughs> and we're useless there, ice chips. Might as well be potato chips or poker chips. It doesn't matter. We don't need to be there. You just gotta watch the, the film strip in Lamaze class. Honest, honest to God. Technology, leaps and bounds in the last 30 years, but Lamaze still using the same big bush film strip from the 70s. <laughs> where some obviously Greek woman is giving birth. And just, just, you can't even see the baby. It's like a ball getting lost in the ivy at Wrigley. That's a ground rule double, folks. You gotta, it's getting caught up in the brambles, you know, and then eventually a tiny fist punches through the afro and it's like, okay, show's over, everyone. I know, it's pretty spectacular. So, so I really, I guess I, I might feel old because uh, recently uh, I became a grandfather three weeks ago. Yeah, I really, I didn't have anything to do with it, everybody. It's, <laughs> I just started the chain, that's all. <laughs> but you, uh, because of who I am, uh, which is awful, and my history, which is awful, when my uh, daughter told me I was going to be a grandfather, uh, I asked her, are you sure I'm the grandfather? <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show, everybody. Happy birthday, Flappers. <laughs> <laughs>